Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we've got a little 1 14th scale truck to put together. Yep, a Tamiya Grand Hauler. I was after a King Hauler, but all the shops with a reasonable price are out of stock. Apparently they should be getting new stock in a few weeks, but I didn't really want to wait. Anyway, we've got the usual Tamiya box art. It's a photo rather than the old drawings, but it's still a rather nice picture. There's a little bit of info on the three-speed gearbox. I've already got one on a Tamiya high lift. It really is a lovely little gearbox. The kit comes with a 1 14th driver, which is nice. Something missing from a lot of scale builds. On one side we get a few of the Tamiya option parts. The motorised legs we might end up getting. The oil dampers probably aren't needed, but you never know. They've got some nice aluminium wheels with hubcaps, but I'm not too sure about them. On the other side we have info on the multifunction unit, built-in ESC, light controller and audio. A very nice little box, but we'll be going our own way with the electronics. OK, on to the box. We'll only have a quick look at all the bits, as there's rather a lot of them. First up we have the windows, in a nice clear plastic, which makes a lot of sense with the driver. Which is next. He's in a lot of bits and completely hollow, but it should be more than good enough. Some chrome bits, looks like fuel tanks and maybe some lights. Excellent chrome too, a really good mirror finish. The rear wheel arches and what looks like all the bits for fitting them. As you would expect from Tamiya, they've carefully done the moulds so we don't end up with marks all over the top surface. More chrome, grill, rear bumper and air boxes. All lovely and shiny. If you don't look too closely, they'd easily pass for some polished aluminium. Some fifth wheel bits. The wheels, two fronts and four pairs of duallys for the rear. And again, nice and shiny. The big bit, the body. I think this is the same one that comes with the King Hauler. Very nice of course, but it does have a bunch of holes that we're going to need to fill. This one's got some chassis bits, mounting brackets and the little stabilizers for the rear suspension. In the box we've got another box. It feels quite light so it's probably got some plastic bits in. And that frees up the chassis rails which show quite nicely how long the truck's going to be. Great stuff. The middle bit's empty now which just leaves the red box which is fairly heavy so that's going to be where all the metal bits are. Under that we've got some filler and the decals and manual. I think we're going to need to be a bit careful arranging all the bits to get them in frame. I didn't quite get the lighting right, so the white bits in the corner are a bit hard to see, but they are still there. OK, sub box 1, the black one, which does indeed contain plastic bits. First out is more chrome. This one's got the great slab of a front bumper, which is oh so very shiny. No idea what's on this one, some sort of big mounting plate maybe, lots of little bits too. Another few bits of bodywork, the seats and dashboard. Should be fun painting up all these bits, it's not often you get an interior to do on an RC truck. More chrome, looks like it might be the air horns for the roof. Some gears, and they must be for the three speed as there's nowhere else for them to go. Gearbox case and the axle cases. Yet more chrome, looks like we've got some number plate surrounds and some exhaust bits. A few more of the chassis bits, and with a chassis that long, I guess they needed some extras. Loads of red lenses. Now, I do wish Tamiya would supply clear for all of them, so you can paint them any colour. But they'll do the job. Here's a couple of big bits. That must be the main radio and battery tray. And we seem to have another fifth wheel assembly, which seems a bit odd. Some orange lenses, and some clear lenses. Must mean there's a lot of scope for over-the-top use of LEDs. Should be fun. Gearbox bits, clutches and bearing mounts. Another load of chrome, it's a duplicate of the one we looked at a minute ago. Nearly out of space, but we've only got this box left, so it might just all fit. And there we go, all the metal parts bags. But first, a large quantity of tyres. They're a bit on the hard side, but they do look pretty good. Some bubble wrap metal tubes, probably for some longer exhaust stacks. The tools bag, with all the usual bits, along with some thread locker and, interestingly, some spiral wrap to keep the wiring tidy. The good old silver can motor, we'll probably end up swapping it for something with more turns to smooth out the low speed throttle, but it'll get the truck going. What looks like more body bits, mirror mounts and air filter meshes, very nice. And that's bag G, well we might as well look at the rest in order. So here's bag A, rear suspension mounting plates and the aluminium fake dampers. 
bag be? The front axle. Now I always thought it was plastic, but it's definitely metal. Possibly cast and then painted black. We've also got the front leaf springs here too. Bag C, we've got the diff cases, some suspension hangers, and not surprisingly all the diff gears and axle internals too. Bag D, which contains all the gearbox bits, which should be fun to build on video, they're tricky enough to do without sitting behind a camera. Bag E, which looks like we've got some drive hexes, which unusually seem to be spline driven rather than with a drive pin, but it worked for the old clodbuster with its big wheels, so I'm sure it'll be just fine. Bag F, there's loads of small fixings, and the metal mounting plates for the body. And of course, bag G we've already looked at. That just leaves this unmarked bag. It's got some thin steel strips and a rubber mat. No idea what they're for, but if I had to guess it would be to do with the Tamiya multifunction unit. Nearly missed it, there's also the long prop shaft. Looks like an aluminium tube with steel bits pressed into the ends. Looks rather good, nice and chunky. Well, that's all the kit bits laid out, and you do get rather a lot for your money. Should be a fun kit to put together. We do need a few other bits though. First is a set of bearings. Now you could probably get away without. Everything's going to be spinning at a very low RPM, and it's going to stay fairly clean. But they don't cost all that much, so we might as well. A couple of standard servos. We don't need high torque or high speed, just a bog standard cheap servo. One for the steering, and one for the gearbox. An ESC? Now, this isn't the one I'm going to fit. Any basic ESC will get the truck running. We don't really need anything special. A radio? I'm going to be using a modified Flysky GT3B with an 8-channel receiver. It should cover all the lighting controls, gearbox, and still have a couple of channels left over for other things. And that's about it. I can't see me ever getting that lot back in the box, so I think we're just going to have to build it. So, thanks for watching, like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, and perhaps give that little bell icon a click just in case we don't make it to your sub box. Bye guys!